Gamers, welcome to my rocks. So today I have something very, very different from what I usually do. I've been really inspired by Mayro and Tim Hansen. Now, Tim Hansen has this video series that's actually a Call of Duty Zombies series where he basically goes through every single Call of Duty Zombies games and he has to try to complete some sort of challenge. When he loses the challenge, he goes to the next game. Mayro has been creating... Um, videos where basically whenever she touches red in a specific game or yellow or green or just some random color the video ends so I thought why not combine both of those ideas together into this so here's how this is gonna work if I touch anything red we cut to the next game so I'm gonna start with Mario Bros 1 then we'll go to the lost levels Mario Bros 2 3 world uh, we're gonna skip Mario Land because they're just black and white and then we'll go to Mario 64 sunshine all the new Super Mario Bros. games, Galaxy 1, 2, 3D Land, 3D World, Mario Odyssey. So all the mainline Mario games. And that is basically how this challenge is going to work. So lots of games to go through, but I don't know how well this is going to go. But starting off with Super Mario Bros. Now I know what you're thinking. Mario's red. Shouldn't he automatically lose? Well, nah, I don't think that really counts. Um, okay, so there's red on that mushroom. I can't touch the mushroom. Okay, so far so good though. We should be okay. Okay, we'll go down the pipe. No red here, which is good. There's some coins. They kind of... It's like yellowy-orange, so that should be fine. So basically, we're not allowed to get any mushrooms or anything. Also, if I die, I should have said at the beginning, if I die or touch red, that's when we go to the next game. So we completed 1-1. One, one. That was epic. Okay, next is 1-2. So everything is blue, which is nice. Shouldn't be very... Oh, goodness. I'm just glad everything is blue. Is some like blue, black, a little bit of green, but no red, so nothing to really worry about here besides potentially dying. Okay, so far, well, now on to probably the worst 2D Mario game. New Super, not New Super, Super Mario Bros. Lost Levels. I cannot, oh my god, I can't even hit. Well, actually, does that even count? Okay, I can't go, okay, hold on. I don't think, you could probably still do this. That's not technically touching them, but that is a poisonous mushroom anyway. Those are yellow. Should be okay there. Oh, stars? Okay, the stars are fine. They're not red at all. I should be okay with stars. Stars are no problem. Oh! Oh! Woo! That was close. Oh my god, I almost touched that thing. Okay. Very, very nice. Okay. We're looking very good so far. This is fantastic. We got through 1-1. One, one. We'll see if we can actually make more progress than the first Mario Bros. Okay. Green Koopas. Big jump. Oh, jeez. All right. Okay. This is fine. This is all fine. Oh, my God. That's scary. Okay. We're going to chill up here. Or not. I guess we're taking... Oh, no. I, the platforms are red. What am I supposed to do here? Well... So, on to the next game. As you can see, there's a lot of red on this title screen. But that doesn't really matter. So, since we can not pick Mario, we'll avoid as much red as possible. We're going to rock Peach. Because Peach is best girl. Not just because she's the only one. But just because she's such a good character to play as. Now... Oh, that door was red. Okay, so next is Super Mario Bros. 3. We did not make a lot of progress there. Really unfortunate that the doors were red. No, that red arrow does not count. We're not even in the game yet. The hub worlds will never count, FYI. Well, they're not going to count for this. So, like, I have to actually get into a level, at least for Mario Bros. 3. So, try the level. We'll go to 1-1. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I still can't get a mushroom because I still think there is... There's still red spots. Those are very red. If I touch the plant at all, I mean, it'll be instant death, but that'd be horrible. Hey, oh, I just realized I can't get the mushroom. Like, at the ending? Oh, my God. Well, the mushroom might actually be black and white. I'm not 100% certain on that. Okay, so I got to go full splast. Here we go. Don't get the freaking... Okay, yes. We got the star. We're in the clear. Let's go. All right, this does not count. This is pink. This is pink, and it's we're also still just in the hub world. Da -da 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 -bum -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -bum. Okay. Dang. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, 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 goodness. <laughs> Almost. Oh, my God. That was close. Okay. Avoid the flame. Gonna hop up here. I know there's a mush in. Oh, well, we're done with the NES. Time to move on to Mario World. So we should be okay. I guess we will first go. We're not gonna go to Yoshi's house. We'll just go to Yoshi's Island 1. Hopefully there's nothing red here. Okay, green. Okay, he doesn't have a red shell. We should be fine. We can get... Let's get, let's get that Yoshi coin. Okay, oh my. We can't even touch them. They have, like, red wings. So you have to be really careful not to touch those guys. Okay, oh my god. Wait a minute. Oh, gee. Wait a minute. Oh. It is time for our first 3D adventure. We gotta be sure not to touch that erase button. Even though that doesn't really count. So, for this game, since we basically start playing 
in uh, Princess Peach's castle. We're gonna count all of Peach's castle. So if we can't even make it to Bobble and Battlefield, then I guess we just don't make it. But I guess we'll see. Okay. Well, that's a big problem. Wait, what, what could I? Maybe I can like jump, get into the door before hitting the ground. Maybe that'll work. I don't know. Let's try it. Wait, so, next is Mario Sunshine, and uh, I've got to sit through probably a six-minute cutscene. A few minutes later. Okay, I really need to be careful here. A quick dive. Okay, nice, nice, very good, very good. Now, lucky for me, Flood is completely yellow and blue and gray, so no red colors at all. I should be fine. Yeah, no red in sight, so we're okay to use Flood, and we can continue. All right, and we can spray this stuff because we're not touching the red, so that's fine. We can get those coins if we want to. Well, that went pretty well, but it's time to move on to the first new Super Mario Bros. on the Nintendo DS. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. This red thing counts, but no, we are in a hub world. We're not really playing the game. So, 1-1, one, one, let's give it a shot. Okay, green... All right, well, on to the next Mario Galaxy game. When I say the next one, I mean the first one. Um, yeah, there's going to be a lot of cutscene stuff to do here, but hopefully we actually get past the tutorial, because I have no idea if we're going to or not. All right, well, we definitely don't want to pick Mario. We're going to pick uh, we're gonna pick Yoshi. Also, we're, it's fine if I touch his red right here. We're not even in the game yet. It's fine. Okay, none of those flowers are red. That's good. Yellow, white, purple. We're looking good so far. Okay, there's a red star bit there. We can't touch that. I'm just, you know what? I'm not even going to point my remote at the screen. I don't want to accidentally touch it. Okay, that does not count either. Wait, is my battery... Okay, I thought my... Well, on to the next new Super Mario Bros. Miss Wii. We're playing Wii, okay? Let's do it. You know how it goes. Once we start actually playing the game, that's when it counts. So, 1-1. One, one. Obviously, can't touch any mushrooms. I'm really hoping that we get to a game where I can actually get a power-up. Like, at all. And here we are, on to Galaxy 2. Oh god, oh god, stop, stop, stop. Oh my god, this is terrifying. Okay, oh, that's a red toad, can't touch the red toad. Okay, that's a purple thing. Oh my god, there's a... I gotta wait for the red starbit to disappear, disappear. Disappear, come on. There's another red starbit, come on, move. So, Sky Station Galaxy. If we can get through this galaxy, that's gonna be awesome. Ground pound, and then do a little shake. Bada bing, bada boom. And he's like, whoa, okay, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna turn into a launch star. I don't even know how that works. You just turn into a launch star just out of nowhere. Okay, oh god. Okay, that's green, purple, white. They aren't even touching me. We're fine. We're good. Okay, oh, that might turn red. Does it turn red? Good old Mario 3D Land. Go ahead and start ourselves on a new game, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Oh, no. Oh, this is not looking good. Look at all of this red in the background. Okay, don't touch the checkpoint. We'll probably get a red from that. Don't hit the arrows. Okay, smell. <gasps> Yo, let's go. Let's freaking go, Tanuki Mario. That's what I'm uh, talking about. Okay, those flowers are red as well. Okay, yes. Yes, let's go. Hold on. What about... New Super Mario Brothers number two. There really were so many new Super Mario Bros. games. I mean, four doesn't sound like that much, but it, it feels like there were more than that, doesn't it? It feels like there was just an endless amount of them. Okay, one, one. Let's see how this goes. I don't know what color the flowers are. Okay, they're pink. We're and on to the final new Super Mario Bros. game. New Super Mario Bros. U. Now, yes, I'm actually playing the Wii U version, and I kind of debated on bet playing between that and Deluxe, and I kind of figured, well, I might as well just stick with, the U with like, the original versions, because I'm not playing Mario 64 DS either, so I figured might as well go with the Wii U one. Now, the acorn... Oh, my, there's a little bit of red on the acorn suit. Oh, I can't even get the acorn suit. Oof, I'm not gonna lie. Pretty worried about this one because all the other new Super Mario Bros. games have not gone too well. Okay, so, oh, dude, those flowers have red on them. It's, they're not just pink this time. So, cannot touch the flowers, can't get mushrooms, I can still get this for no particular reason. Never mind, didn't actually want it. Okay, so far so good. So far so, oh my god. Mario 3D World, one of my favorite Mario games of all time. We're gonna go ahead and hop into here, not play as Mario, even though it doesn't matter. I, I'm kind of feeling, you know, I'm kind of feeling, uh, let's do Toad. 
Good old Todd. All right, here we go. Starting off with good old 1-1 Super Bell Hill. Not seeing any red. Dude, I have been having some bad luck with those stupid arrows. I feel like I have died in New Super Mario Bros. to the arrows every single time. And I am tired of it. So that's not going to happen this time. No more dying to arrows. We're just going to fly on by. And on to our final game, Super Mario Odyssey. And what's great about this game is you can skip the cutscenes. So less waiting and more time to avoid the color red. And what's awesome about this... This uh, kingdom is it's basically all black and white, which is great. Oh. 